You think to yourself, touring is where successful bands make their money. How about you let me go over a few things you should do before touring? Let's make a right left here. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Do you? Hello good people, I'm Thomas J. Beleza. Thanks for taking a look-see at my video. If this is your first time to my channel and you are interested in learning how to be successful in entertainment, well then subscribe and click the bell notification so you don't miss out. Big bands tour and they make so much money. First off, they don't always make a lot of money. That's not the point of touring. Touring is ultimately a business avenue so you can network, a market, and practice. That's right, you're getting out there so you can build and cultivate relationships for bigger and better opportunities while also expanding your brand's value. Real money actually comes from other sources. You know, first off, touring is a big step forward and does have advantages. But before you want to run off and tour, let me tell you this much. You want to play tons and tons and tons of local shows without telling anybody you're performing so you can do something very important. Practice. You're playing lots of shows, specifically crappy ones, and don't really advertise it. Don't let people know you're doing this. This is, this is for you. Because you're looking to get your act together before people see you. Because they see you, that starts the brand relationship. And you don't really have a brand yet. Because this is where you get your act together. You're looking, how do you feel on stage? How do you look on stage? Is there continuity to the movement and your outfits? Do you feel comfortable with the musicians that are on the stage with you? Do you feel comfortable with yourself? Do they feel comfortable with you? Are you synergetically working on stage? These are things you look back on the footage and say, well, that's not working. This could work. Why don't we do that? I like that. You're also listening to how your band sounds through the different sound systems. Good ones, bad ones, such and such and such. So now you have to make a list. What equipment do we want to always have? Do we want a sound guy? Hey, by the way, we forgot. We, we should bring, I don't know, extra strings or extension wires or even long plugs, you know, to use. And also film the shows because all this is practice time. You're practicing how to perform, how to look, how to act on stage. And also you're practicing what you need to get to the show. Make your lists. Secondly, once you are good enough and you feel confident, and you know that you have worked out your brand, at least to some uh, level. Now we can move on to the next step. This is where you're going to play every six to eight weeks and make it a big event, even if you have to produce it yourself. The point is you want to know what you want to present on stage before you yourself even get on stage. But once you know what you want to present on stage and you're capable of presenting that on stage, now it's time to build, build, build your audience and momentum. The every six to eight weeks Seems rare, but the rare playing helps you keep from saturating, because these are the shows you're advertising, keeps you from saturating your scene. It also makes that night a spectacle, which is bigger and more interesting. Oh, so-and-so hasn't played in almost two months. They're playing again, let's go. Hell, if it costs anything, you should technically be doing these shows with two other bands that you have formed a good relationship with. And with that said, well, that's three bands times four, which is 12 times, say, $100. That's $1,200. You now have a $1,200 budget per big event, which is every six to eight weeks. Market, do something fun with that. Maybe even rent a venue for uh, $400 for the night. Think big, be big, but be smart. Thirdly, in, your, in this whole thing, you have to conquer your local scene before you could venture out. Success travels, and it will help you learn how to market said shows. Because the practice aspect of marketing a show is the same wherever you go. But if you go on tour before you learn the process of marketing properly, then you can't focus market when you're on tour. Also, value travels. Because the more people who talk about you, especially from the local scene, the bigger you're going to get. We can even start slowly by playing a few shows a year outside your direct market. For example, New York will lead to Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Connecticut. New York is your main market, and those three are outside your market. And with a tour, paid guarantees are only given to bands with brand value. 
or draw. If you want to play a show five states away and no one cares, then no one cares. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share the video along with subscribing for future content. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive. And remember to look at people around you so you can work together, grow together, and rise together. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Do you, punk? Do you? Do you? Have what it takes to make a right left here. Oh dear.